It's Ben here. So here in Final Cut Pro, we're going to have a look at how we can use some organizational color coding and other tools within Final Cut Pro to create a more visual organization within our projects and libraries. So we're going to come up to these four edit timelines that we have here, and they're pretty easy to kind of read through, but it would be nice sometimes to have some kind of more visual way of recognizing perhaps which edits are finished, which edits you're, you're working on currently. So we're going to click and click again to change the name of this. And I'm just gonna get my cursor right at the beginning of this project name here. And I'm gonna use Control Command and the spacebar to bring up the emojis menu. And in here, we're just gonna type in check. So we're imagining we've finished this edit and we're gonna add a green check at the beginning of that. I can select this and copy it so that I can then use it in other projects that are also finished. So we'll just click in here. We'll add that green check mark at the beginning there too. And then you can also see that if we organize these by name, it's going to group those completed projects together. So I can then come to the beginning of another project. Perhaps I want to add something a bit more fun to a different project. So I'm going to use a smiley face for a project that I'm currently working on. And you'll see then that any projects that I'm working on, I code in this way, will basically group together if we organize them by name. So that's quite a nice way of adding some organizational elements to our projects in Final Cut Pro. Then when I finish this working with color edit, I can come up, select a check from one of the other projects, and then paste it over my emoji there, hit enter. And then if I group these by name, it will organize those so I can quickly scan and see which project timelines I'm working on. You can also do the same kind of thing up in my library as well. So I have these different events in my library. I have a couple of events that are just for edit timelines. So this April 2023 edits and my layers edit are all containing edit timelines. So in here, I'm going to click and click again just to bring my cursor to the beginning of that April 2023 edits event. Hold down control command and tap the space bar. And then I'm going to type in clap, which is going to bring up this movie clapper board. Type in a little space after that. So now if I copy that, I can then add that to any of these events that are containing edits. And that will also organize them together so you can see all my edits now are listed together. I've got my audio and my footage below there. So a nice way that we can begin to organize things in Final Cut Pro using some of these emojis. There are also some other nice emojis in there if you don't want that kind of checkboxes. So if you like the old Apple color coding of folders, we can hold down Control, Command, and Spacebar. And then if we type in orange book, you can see you've got this nice book. We can pop that in there. And there are different colors for this same icon. So if we type in green, and you can see we can grab those different colors. And again, using those nice elements to color code or mark things in a way that kind of fits the style we want to work with. So we'll just do this last one here to match this style. And you can see with those kind of color coded elements, we get this nice kind of visual way in which we can scan through our libraries, events, or edit timelines within Final Cut Pro, giving that kind of nice visual element to this. Hope this is helpful. If you do have any questions, then please do leave them below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.